Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I am finally doing my Shantikai haul. So I did pick up some things from the Shantikai birthday sale. It was 30% off site-wide. That is the best deal you can get on Shantikai. So I took full advantage. I really love Shantikai. I don't shop from there too often because <laughs> things add up in your cart very very fast and I just I can't I can't be doing that but for 30% off I did splurge on some things that I've been wanting to try so I figured we'd do it try on sale because it is only six things and yeah okay anyways if you want to see what I got then just keep watching <laughs> okay before we actually get into the into the dirt I'm about to be one of those people <laughs> Okay, no, seriously. Jose and I did do a little bit of designing on some merch for you guys, and I literally hate saying merch, but um, I have face masks, and I definitely wanted to do just a really cute face mask that I feel like you guys would really enjoy and actually want to wear. You know, I don't want Morgan Turner smacked across your face or anything, and obviously you should be wearing a mask. I am a firm believer of that, and you should be too. I just wanted to do something really small, something that wouldn't overwhelm you with this giant store of stuff. Today, down below, in the link, you are able to purchase this cute little face mask. And the ones from Teespring are really nice. They are elastic. My face is the size of a child, okay? And they still fit me. I could do a little bit of a tightening here. But if you have a big face, it covers a lot. It comes in two colors. You have white, and then here's what the black looks like. The black is kind of really cute. Ooh. I like that. Anyways, I just think that these are super cute. I hope you guys do too. I've been showing them on Instagram and you guys have been waiting for them to go on sale. So I put them up today for you guys. These are available for purchase. I'm very lucky. Jose is very, very big into graphic design. So he helped me pull this together. We have a lot more designs coming. I just don't want too many to come out at once. So just little by little, I have some really fun ideas that I think you guys are going to like. But anyways, these are available. Okay. On to the good stuff. Like I said, I purchased six things. And the first thing that I purchased was the Future Skin Oil-Free Gel Foundation. Okay, so here's the thing with this foundation. There is a story. When I was younger and I was first getting into makeup, this was actually my very first foundation. My mother took me to the Chantecaille counter and I got the gel foundation and then the little concealer stick as well. I think I use this definitely far beyond its expectations expiration date. So I've been wanting to pick this up for old time's sake and people are still really loving it to this day. I obviously don't really remember what I think of it and 14 year old me had no clue about formulas and the knowledge that I do have now. So this has been something that's been on my list for a long time since it was like my first real nice foundation for my amazing teenage skin. So that's why I picked this up and you guys 30% off you guys. You can't beat it. So. Zoom in so you guys can see the real application. I got the shade vanilla and from swatching it this looks like it is too deep on me I could not for the life of me remember what shade I used eight years ago I was like looking through the shades and trying to like see if a specific name like rung a bell nothing so I got vanilla it's looking a little bit too deep on me we're gonna use a brush to paint it on Oh, actually, that's really not a bad batch. Go me. Maybe vanilla secretly was the color that I had. No idea, but see, like when I put it on, it looks like it's way too pink and a little bit too deep on me, but as it kind of spreads out, I'm applying way too much. That's enough. Anyways, as I'm kind of spreading it out, it does seem to be blending into my skin pretty well. I'm going to go in with a sponge and work the product in. Okay, so definitely, as you can see, it's a light coverage. It's giving a really nice glow. I can see why the lady at the counter picked out this foundation for me because it is super natural, you guys. This is a beautiful foundation. Now, it's not giving me much coverage. If you're a coverage lover, I would assume that this is not for you. This is seriously just like a perfect everyday natural coverage foundation. I'm putting way too much on. Why am I like this? So let's see how it builds. Very impressed with my color choosing skills online. Let's see, build some coverage on the nose. So you can get a little bit of coverage, but this is definitely like a light. First impressions, this is a beautiful foundation. Very light coverage, very fresh on the skin. You can see the dew my face has and it's just so healthy looking. It looks like I just applied a nice juicy moisturizer to my face and that my skin is actually like kind of nice, but ooh, 
Ooh, I'm a fan. Okay, so I'm quickly gonna throw on some concealer on the under eyes and right here because it's pretty red. I'm using the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion. Lately, I've been into this Pat McGrath Loose Setting Powder on my face. I had the second to lightest shade and it was just a little bit too deep and yellow, but ever since I got the lightest shade, I've been really liking it for setting my under eyes and I'm gonna put a little bit up in the T-zone and I don't have a bronzer and and shamefully, I've been loving the Scott Barnes Soleil Bronzer in Bondi Beach. It's way overpriced for what it is, but given the packaging and it's made in China and all of that, like I think you should be charging way less for this product. But I'm not gonna deny like, like this is a really good bronzer. <laughs> I just love this color on me. So the next item that I got is the Hydrating Gel Cream Blush. I got the shade Happy, which is this gorgeous pink color. I have been curious about this for so long. And this shade is seriously so gorgeous. I like a nice cream blush. I just think there's something so healthy about it. So I just put a little bit on my two fingers. And yeah, it's definitely very, very sheer. If you have like a deeper complexion, I don't know if it's just the shade or the formula in general. I don't know about this on you because as you can see, it definitely super sheer. It's really, really beautiful though. Oh my gosh, that just added the most natural flush. I'm gonna see what happens when I use a sponge. Mm, I think I prefer a finger for the application. When I swatched this, I definitely could tell that this was extremely sheer, but for every day, along with this foundation in particular, because the foundation is so natural to begin with, this is a beautiful combination, you guys. So the Future Skin Gel Foundation with the Gel Cream Blush, really stunning on the cheek. I enjoy that a lot. I mean, this is probably kind of expensive for what it is, but for 30% off, it really is so gorgeous. And I've been eyeing this for a long time. This is in a limited edition collection that they released for, I believe, this summer or this spring. So this will eventually go away, but this is the Radiance Chic Cheek and Highlight Duo in the shade Rose. I've been eyeing this, but the price kind of turned me off, and then when it was on sale, I had to pick it up. I think this highlighter is in here kind of loose, so it might fall out, so I'm trying to hold it like this. I love a nice pinky blush, so I had to get this shade. I know I already have the gel cream blush on, but go big or go home. I'm just going to put a touch of the powder on top to set, and these are actually very good colors together. Shantikai has really beautiful products, you guys. I don't buy from them as often as I wish I could because they really come out with such sophisticated, simple products that just work, you know? I'm going to put a little bit on my nose, too. Like, look how beautiful and youthful and flushed I look. And then I guess we'll go in with the highlighter too. It's like a beautiful golden-y champagne. And like I said, it came a little loose in there, so I don't know, but look at this. That's so gorgeous, and it's so finely milled. The reflection on the skin, it's like not obnoxious, but it's like natural and glowy. My skin looks so radiant and just natural right now. It's really stunning. Okay, and then the last face product that I got, Teresa is Dead, totally sold me on this. So this is the perfect blur finishing powder. And I mean, who has she not sold this to? I swear. She talks nonstop about this powder, so I'm really excited to give it a try. She kind of just uses it as an overall like finishing powder. So when she's done with her face, she'll just put a touch on. So I'm going to use my Pat McGrath powder brush. I mean, I've heard so many people rave about it. So let's see. Ooh, that definitely did blur the forehead. I'm gonna use more of a dense brush. This is from Raffer. Ooh. Okay, so this is a product that I definitely want to continue using more, testing it out. I definitely noticed some instant blurring happening on the forehead. The lower half of my face, I didn't notice too much. This is one that I really just need to test out on different face days, using different products, all of that. But I did see some instant blurring happening up here that I can see a lot of people really enjoying. And then the last two items that I got from this sale, I am so in love with their luminous eye shades. I picked two more up. The 
The first one that I picked up is this warm champagne one. So this is the shade Cheetah. The packaging is unreal. And it's just this gorgeous champagne-y shade. And then this is a shade that I didn't know I needed until I saw it online. So this is from a limited edition collection that's no longer sold. I think they were just trying to get rid of their stock, but I was really excited that I could get my hands on this. This is the shade Mare. And as you can see, it has this beautiful beach scene on the outside. And it's this gorgeous metallic sea foam light green shade shade. That is so beautiful. But these are an amazing formula. They're quite pricey, but honestly, it's just such a treasure to own, you know? For my base shades, like in the crease, I've been wanting to give this Ofra Pro Palette a try. This was sent to me from Octoly. To me, this just looked like it had the most beautiful shades for bridal makeup. Like, it's not very exciting looking, but I can see myself utilizing these colors a lot. I haven't gotten a chance to try out the formula yet. I have a little bit of concealer on on my eyelid. I'm gonna blend that out. I'll just go with a pretty neutral shade to start. So I'm gonna use these two in the crease. Quite powdery. And I actually want a little bit more blushiness. So I'm just gonna put a layer of these two shades right over. Those shades I put down were pretty nice. This is me being pretty quick to judge before I actually dive in on this palette. I think it's kind of boring. They're kind of colors that you would use a lot, but as far as the formulations going, they don't feel that special to me. They feel average and when I was swatching the satin shades, they feel a little bit lackluster to me. So I'm still on the fence with this palette. I definitely need to try it some more, but I thought it would be interesting to share with you guys because I hadn't heard of anybody talking about this palette and it really does have such basic essential colors. So far, I'm not as impressed as I had hoped to be. But you know what? I say that and it really did lay down a nice base for us. Don't hate me. I'm going to be boring and I'm going to go for the cheetah shade. This is going to be for an another day, but this is just gonna go so much better. So I'm gonna use this Kaleidos S3 brush. We're just gonna pop this all over the lid. And do you see how stunning this is, you guys? It has such a fine reflection. The shadow itself is milled so well. Personally, for me, these are certainly a splurge, but they are so worth it. Once you have it, you'll love it. And the other shades they have in the line are literally breathtaking. This one is kind of a more basic color. But I wanted to add this one to my collection because it is so versatile with so many looks. Like, do you see that? This is a sheer layer. I can go in with a finger and really get some intense color, but I really just want the finish of this to shine on the lid and not necessarily have a crazy thick layer on my eyelid because it really is all about that reflection and it's so stunning. I am going to build it up though in my inner corner and I think this would be a really nice highlight as well, just on the cheekbones. You can't tell me this isn't stunning. Holy moly. All right, so I'm gonna finish the rest of my face, liner, lashes, mascara, lips, and I'll be back to finalize all my thoughts with you. So here is the final look. I ended up going into this deep shade right here in the Ofra palette and I used it as a shadow liner. I'm wearing Ardell 421 lashes and my lip color is Wifey from Milk Makeup and I really love this pinky mauve look that we have going on. So let's uh, get into the Chantecai products. Final thoughts. So the Future Skin Foundation, I really am enjoying. You're only gonna like this if you like natural foundations, but I think this is really great for every day. I did kind of layer on a lot in today's video. And I think normally when I would wear this, I would just do a light layer. Just know you're going in for a natural everyday foundation and you just need a little bit of this just to kind of clean everything up, make your skin look moisturized. It feels very lightweight on the skin and I think it's gonna be very good for my dry skin. Same thing goes for my hydrating gel cream blush and happy. I really like this. I see myself always pairing these two together. Just the finishes and the textures, they blend in really seamlessly. I do worry if you have a deeper complexion how this would work on you because I wasn't getting much to show up on my cheek which you don't need this is just for a light natural flush but again I don't know if it's gonna actually show up on everybody but for me I think it was really nice to pair with that really natural foundation just to give you some brightness to your face and that's just that really youthful complexion arguably this one might be my favorite item in the collection because I just I love a good powder cheek product I love a nice pink blush and then this highlighter is just genuinely very 
very good quality. So finely milled, it blends into the skin with ease and it just overall gives you a very natural glow to the face. I mean, the highlight's actually quite beaming, but the way that it blends into the skin is so seamless. Same goes for the blush. And by the way, it did pair very well over the Happy Cream Blush to give me some added color. But just the powder in here is so fine. It just glides onto the skin. The Perfect Blur Finishing Powder. So far, I think I can see what people are talking about. It made my forehead look flawless. I definitely want to play around with it some more before I can give my final thoughts, but so far so good. Since it is such a specific thing that it does that is very minimal, definitely will have to experiment with this more. And then finally, the Luminous Eye Shades. I used Cheetah today. It's stunning. I mean, I have a couple others of these and I absolutely love them. I think they're the most beautiful formula. I'm very excited to give this Mare shade a go another time. It just didn't go with the look today, you guys. These are definitely one of my favorite products from them in general. So that is all I have for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, if you are interested in getting some new cute masks, masks are the new accessories nowadays, guys. I have these available for you. And yeah, so that's all I have for today's video. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would absolutely love it if you would consider taking the time to do so. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.